history is made at Calder Hall, the first large-scale nuclear power station in the world, when the Queen arrives to throw the switch that will send its output flowing into the national grid. The men who helped to make this great achievement possible are presented to Her Majesty before the inauguration ceremony begins. Among the distinguished atomic scientists from other lands is Professor Topchia, the Soviet atom chief, who brings Russia's praise for the makers of Calder Hall. The Queen is on the rostrum, and the moment has come which will bring to fruition the skillful work and brilliant planning of many years. The moment when the current will begin to flow. It is with pride that I now open Calder Hall, Britain's first atomic power station. A simple ceremony, but as the huge dial in the background shows that Calder Hall is at last feeding power into the factories and homes of Britain, it marks the birth of a new industrial revolution in which Britain is taking the lead. The Queen is shown over the plant as it starts its working life. At present, only one reactor is running. By next spring, Calder Hall's output will be more than treble. And Calder Hall is only the beginning of a great program of nuclear power stations which will, in time, give us all the electricity we need without the use of coal or oil. When the atomic age opened in the fires of Hiroshima, many believed it could bring nothing but evil. But there were men of vision who had faith in its peaceful promise and worked to fulfill it. For them, this day is a milestone of victory.